How do? Time for Spider and Old Scooter again. It's me, Old Scooter, and Spider McGillicuddy, or Spider Mac, uh, here to play a game of Spider Solitaire. The title of this particular game is Doomsayers. Uh, striking, no? But we'll get with the game. I'm going to do something I haven't tried before. I'm going to try to read something, so watch this trick. I'm going to read... Boom, it should come up right there. A plague of deep-seated civic illiteracy. See, that's how it works. <laughs> Inspiring, eh? Okie doke, but well, we're here mainly to play the game as always, so we're going to hit a new game. Spider McGillicuddy, I apologize for this new format that covers up your face. Her face. Um, when I look this way, you look... It's amazing. It's TV, I don't know. Um... And we're here, as always, to plug the books, Miz, the new one, and The Reluctant God, the old one. Not that old, but, you know. Uh, and this is a very political one, so I thought I'd make my uh, positions clear and unassailable. Well, I guess they could be assailed. <laughs> but onward, into the game. Sorry, Spider, covering her face. Kind of rude. We're going to do a new game, and it's going to be the two-suit version. The four-suit version is played by the serious people, and as you might know if you've watched this before, I'm not that serious. So we'll just start off playing whatever shows up and says, play me, um, black on black, red on red, until we don't. Uh, and I call these the naturals. I don't know why I call them the naturals, but a good deal of the stuff I do, I don't know why I do. But I'm just doing it. This is a pretty good first deal. Lots of moves. Um, for that. Or maybe Spider-Mac is sympathetic to my political position. The reason I'm calling a doomsayer is that Professor Henry Giroux, G-I-R-O-U-X, shows up on various of the left-wingy things I read, but he's a very smart man. And he has a blockbuster piece. Uh, in Salon.com, if you're a Salon.comer, might give it a shot. Fascinating stuff. And I'll be quoting from sort of the Cliff's Notes. You know it's not Cliff Notes, it's Cliff's Notes. I forgot about that. I may have never known it. Easy to forget stuff you never knew. So that's not all that good. Not bad, but let's see if this is any better. It is, see? na ba ba da Yay, a lot better. So I'm still on the first deal, and I've got moves uh, out the yin-yang, whatever a yin-yang is. You have ideas on that? No, you can't say that on this program. This is the no-cussing program. Not only no cussing, but no obscenities and vulgarities and bad stuff. But I just keep finding moves. You know, I advocate that old people, and I am one, play slowly because you'll miss fewer moves. That's called a restack. So here at the first time, who could be pessimistic? Well, Dr. Giroux could be, so I'll read the first ones. Up it comes. A. Hey, this is his state of, his, his view of the state of the nation right now, and a lot of it rings pretty true to me. He says there is. Article is much better organized in these notes. A plague of deep-seated civil illiteracy. Think about that. Civic illiteracy. Don't know your history. Don't know your politics. Don't know what you're supposed to do to keep things good. That's good. A corrupt political system and a contempt for reason. Now that in and of itself is doomsaying. Also, a withering of civic attachments. The undoing of civic culture. The decline of public life and the erosion of any sense of shared citizenship. You hear the doom being said? Now I'll put this down and proceed with the game. Isn't that clever of me? So another deal. Usually after a deal with lots of good moves comes deals with not so many good moves. And that, once again, is the case. Spider Mac. She's a consistent and persistent competitor. Hard to beat. 
Although I met a guy, I think I mentioned it in one of the previous games, who said he nearly always wins the two suit. I don't. I'm envious. Okay, we'll do a little cross the color line, see if anything cute comes up. I don't see any great use for this. I can do this, then that, then that, then that, then that. Well, here's something I can do. Then I'll do this. Then I would do this and restack. And I think that was worthwhile. I wish I had a place to put that for, but wishes like fishes swim away. All right. After that deal, which seems to be done. I'll pop this thing back up again, ball, and roll it up and read some more. A politics of bigotry and hate is transformed into a spectacle of demonization, division, and disinformation. The menacing plague of populist rallies, seagull, seagull, you know those populist rallies, fear-mongering, threats, and humiliation, but also an emboldened culture of war, 10% more for the Pentagon. Militarization and violence that looms over society like a rising storm. I do my storm sound effect, but I'm not confident enough. Did I get the last one? I did. No, oh, no, one more. Nope, we'll save that one for next. I'm sure you can't wait. All right, deal em. Dealer, two aces. I'll play the ones that don't have options to start with. Then I'll try my options. Which is this? That would give me a 2-1. This would give me a 5. Neither one are brilliant. Which would I prefer? It's sort of a matter of, of aesthetics, isn't it? Which one you prefer? Well, I think I'll take this one. Just because I don't know any better. And I, and I will go on to the next. We're halfway through the game. Three deals are done. I'm not sure we're halfway through the uh, admonitions from Professor Giroux yet. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, we got all that. Here we go. A disimagination machine. I know examples. Characterized by an utter disregard for the truth. Utter disregard. And often accompanied by the President's tweet storm of primitive schoolyard taunts and threats. And if you looked on my blog, uh, seniorjunior.blogspot, easy for me to say, seniorjunior, all run together, dot blogspot.com, uh, that uh, link would work. And I like this one. George Orwell's famous maxim from 1984, ignorance is strength. You know I'm into maxims. I got the maxim book here from the original maximist. Or maybe he was a maximologist, I'm not sure. And truth is now viewed as a liability and ignorance of virtue. Under the reign of this normalized architecture of alleged common sense, literacy is regarded with disdain. Words are reduced to data. Science is confused with pseudoscience. Is he not a doomsayer? A doomsayer's job is to get us off our duffs, if you'll pardon the expression, and take care of whatever is dooming us. And he's got it down. And you ought to go to salon.com and read it. All right. Am I missing anything here in my political fire storm? storm? Sturm. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Finally succeeded in getting it to deal. There's a jack for a queen and a queen for a king. Nice little pirouette there on stage. <sighs> Not much else. Spider McGillicuddy is feeling put upon. She actually has her face put upon by this game, but it's her game. What she she shouldn't complain. But she gives me a hard time pretty much all the time anyway, so maybe nothing special about this. If I broke out that by doing this, which wouldn't be a very expensive move, I could play that. And I'm Getting close to punching a hole. All I gotta do is play that ace and boom, what have I got? A hole. I love my holes. The wild card in this game. Put anything in there that'll go legally. Do I have a 10? Then I can do this. I do, I do, I do. Watch this. There's the 10. There's this. Now I have a king six stack. Pretty good little stack. 
kind of late in the game to be getting good stacks. And a five will go over there. Are we played out? No, nope, we're not. We got another hole. We're a two-holer now. Like the old Buick Champ. No, Buick Special. The old Buick Special was a two-holer. The uh, Roadmaster was a three-holer. Or was it the four-holer? These things are so hard to keep straight. Look at this. And I have a queen upon which I could put the jack if I had another king, which I don't. But who's complaining? All right. Time for another shot of Professor Giroux. Boom. All right. Here's one. Ignorance becomes the primary organizing principle of American society. Ignorance. Now, that's kind of harsh. For instance, two-thirds of the American public believe that creationism should be taught in schools. Creationism. And a majority of Republicans in Congress do not believe climate change is caused by human activity, making the U.S. the laughing stock of the world. I mean, I, I like having world domination in various things, but laughing stockism? I don't think so. so. Okay, you go hide. You deal. See how the the masterful manipulation of all the technology here is just mind-blowing. Do I need that eight? Or do I need that jack? I need that jack, so I'll do that. And then I can't do anything with that. And do this, that, and this. Yeah, I could do something with that. Any self-contradictions are entirely intentional. A temptation is to say accidental. But I know my own mind. To thine own mind be true. Because very few others will. You know. All those good old sayings. Maxims, as it were. As it was. As it should be. And ever sh after shall be. Amen. Well. I guess so. We're going to go to the last card, but not until we whip in a little more Jero on you here. Come up. There you go. The wider culture, that's ours, has been transformed into a spectacle for violence and trivialized entertainment, a tool for legitimating ignorance. And illiteracy becomes the norm. Education becomes central to a version of zombie politics. <laughs> that functions largely to remove democratic values, social relations, and compassion from the ideology, policies, and commanding institutions that now control American society, he said darkly. Remember that this is the doomsayer game. All right, last card, last deal. I may be doomishly call it the hospice round. Oh, we're getting a few moves here. It's not going to do us any good. We're already $110. No, is that right? We're $120 in the hole. The trick here, and you know it, of course, is you pay 500 to play. You have to hit 550 to break even. That's the house margin. Pay fifty uh, $1 a move up until you make 50 moves, and it's two ten $10 a move. So I've got two $10 moves, $51 moves, $50 to the house margin. So I have a $120 loss at this moment, and it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. <sighs> so before I officially give up, I'll hit you with the last of the Jarrows. Oops. Freedom. Ah, people are always talking about freedom and liberty. Freedom now means removing oneself from any sense of social responsibility so one can retreat into privatized orbits of self-indulgence. Love those. Unbridled self-interest and the never-ending whirlwind of consumption. Contemptuous and bo boisterous claims that science and evidence... Take two. Contemptuous and boisterous claims that science and evidence-based truths are fake news. Really upsets me. 
Illiteracy is also about refusing to act from a position of thoughtfulness, informed judgment, and critical agency.